taste better than your wife, right? I swear, baby. And you were very awesome today in bed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason I always call you whenever she's off town to come out on my bed. Who's there? Why didn't you wait for me to come and pick you up? Huh? Why didn't you wait for so me? So why didn't you come and pick me from school? I, 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 I was, I was standing there waiting for you. You didn't come to pick me. You were here busy with another woman. What do you mean? What do you mean? Fight like you had that thing from your mouth again, eh? Eh? Oh, 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 oh. Just, just destroy your mouth. What do you mean? But you were kissing her. Kissing who? Kissing her. Kissing who? Who told you about kissing? I saw you. You were kissing her. Shut up your mouth. What do you know about kissing? Do it. No, 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 no. We were not kissing. Do it. Shut up your mouth. What do you know about kissing? You know I love you so much and your mother is my best friend. Your father was just trying to remove one aunt. Yes, one aunt from my shit. I knew aunt. you were a demon. Something in me keeps telling me that you are a witch. You are evil. You want to take your mother's place in this house. It's no! Look at your name, Natasha. Spell it backwards. Ah, Satan. That is the meaning. That is the spelling. You are a witch. You can never take my mother's place. Um, purity. No one is taking your mother's place. Did you hear me? And you didn't see me doing anything with her. We were just, I was just trying to help her remove uh, an, an, an aunt. aunt. No problem. When my mother comes back, I will tell her what I saw. And I will know if she will take what I am taking right now. Leave me alone! Leave me! You did not see anything. I saw something! You did not see anything! Leave me. I'm your father, I'm telling you, you did not see anything. Alright! Who taught you all this? Fine! Then I will tell her you were removing something from her body. I will tell her! You said you were removing something, right? I will tell her that you were removing something from my body, then you will explain yourself. I will tell her! Let her come back first! You know your wife is my boss. My job and my friendship is at stake. You have to talk to her, please! This is big. What are you doing? Let me call my mother and tell her what I saw. Eh? Hey, what? Come Leave on. me alone! Leave me! Leave me alone! Stressing me. Why are you making it look like I've committed a crime? You're overreacting. Both of you want me to look like I'm stupid. Like I don't know what I'm doing with my brain or senses, right? Oh God. I know what I saw, yet you keep denying it. Now, give me my phone. Let me call my mother. Tell her what I saw. Let me know what she have to say. You need to calm down. Okay? I want you to calm down. Show that dear. Have I, have I, have I? Give me my have phone. Have I not been caring enough to you? Give me my phone! Purity, nothing happened, okay? He was just trying to remove something from my eyes. You're a big liar. You are a big liar. 
Every you now you said you were just trying to remove something ants from your body. Now it's, it's something in your eyes. Okay, let's just say that he wants to remove something from your eyes. Why would you use his tongue? Okay. Huh? Baby, okay. Mind just give me my phone. Mind your lesson. You go upstairs. You take a shower. You eat your lunch. Then you take a nap. Wake up by 4 p.m. to watch your program. Is that okay? Give me my phone. Let me call my mother. Just give me the phone. I will scream. And when I scream, the neighbors will come and I will tell them the story. But just give me my phone. But your phone is safe with me. I'm your dad. I bought it for you. So go upstairs in a few minutes, I'll bring it up. I promise. Okay? Sinners. Evil people. If you were my father, I would have said God will punish you. You are talking too much now. Yes, I know. That is because I'm angry. I told you I was not comfortable coming here, but you insisted. You told me your wife traveled and you can handle every other thing. Now look, Joseph, if your wife gets to find out, I will lose my job in her company. <sighs> Baby, I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't know it's going to turn out this way. I mean, Purity was supposed to wait for me to come and pick her up from school. I didn't know she was going to come back on her own. I'm sorry. So what do we do? What do we do? You have to look for a way and convince your daughter not to tell your wife. She's my very good friend, and I don't want anything to happen to our friendship. Even if it requires force, you have to tell your daughter not to tell your wife what she saw. Force who? Purity? <laughs> you don't use force on purity. Look, she's my daughter. I know her very well. She doesn't succumb to pressure. Dialogue is the only way forward, so we use dialogue. But well, she's not listening to your dialogue. What do you do? Look, I think the problem here is that we are still denying that what she saw wasn't true. I think that's why she's still angry. We have to go in there, admit that, yes, it's all true. Then we can kneel down and, and apologize to her. Kneel down and apologize to who? A girl that I am old enough to be a mother. I am not doing that. I won't beg purity. Are you for real? Are you even seeing what is coming? No, 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 you are not feeling what is coming, right? Do you know what will happen if my wife gets to hear this? My marriage will crash. And I am not going to let that happen. You also, you have a lot to lose. Your job and your friendship with her. Look, I suggest we we'll put pride aside. Go in there, kneel before purity. Beg her not to tell her mother what she saw when she returns. Do you hear me? That's the best option. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry for putting you through this mess. I'm sorry. Let's go. Why are you doing this because of my job? That he can do anything to make you happy. Please. Hmm? Um, just forgive us. And I promise that nothing of such will ever happen again. Yes. We are sorry, please. We won't do it again. Please don't tell your mother. You apologize. And you're standing. So, what shows that you're really sorry about what you did? Okay, if that's the case, we will need that. Need that. My love, please, I'm sorry. You see, you, see, you see that thing you saw? It was the devil's handwork. Don't. This is what I don't want to hear in this conversation. Don't you ever call the devil's name. Okay. Why are you blaming the devil when you already have set up beside you? I'm sorry. Even if it's the devil's work, you should have rebuked it. Your name is Joseph, not Samson. Yes. Joseph in the Bible. Was it like this? 
He's a well-respected and responsible man. You should do better. I see one problem I have with you. A little girl like you, look at the, look at the kind of big, big words that are falling out from your mouth. Your father is kneeling down and you're seated comfortably talking, talking. Why don't you just forgive us so that we'll stand up? Eh? All right. What if we take you out and buy you good things so you can be happy? Both of you? Yes. Mm. You can just want to buy me something, I will say no. You can buy me the thing. I will take it. <sighs> okay, that's nice. So just go to your room and change up. I will need to freshen up first. Oh, okay, baby. Just go and freshen up and meet us downstairs, alright? And she will do the work. She will bath me. What? What is what? You want to take my mother's place? My mother bathed me every time, so you have to do what she does for me. Sorry, I can't do that. Just do it yourself. See the kind of woman you're cheating on my mother with. Someone that can't, that can't even do half of what my mother does for me. Natasha. Let me call my mother. Natasha. Natasha. Oh. It's okay, purity is okay. Don't worry, I'll bet you. It's fine, you don't have to call your mother. My princess, let me, let me, let me, let me call your What are you doing? Leave me alone now! Leave me! Purity, I just said I'll beat you. You don't have to call your mother. Make sure she doesn't make a call. She does for me. See, you have, you have never done half of what I used to do for me. And you're angry. Don't worry, by the time you're done, I will know if you still want to replace her or you will run. I want to clean. Don't go anywhere because you wash my bumbo. You clean my bumbo for me. Wash your bumbo as well. Don't go anywhere. Wash your bomb bomb as what? Am I your maid? Oh, Joseph, I've had enough of this. I've had enough. That girl is something else. You needed to see how your daughter suffered me in the bathroom. After I finished beating her, she asked me to rub her cream. I did all that. I swallowed my pride. After doing all that, that was when she knew that she wanted to cool. She went into the toilet and she asked me to clean her smelly buttocks. Can you imagine? Is that all? Yes. Uh, it shouldn't be a problem now. I mean, in the nearest future, you are going to be married and have children. Who is, who is, who is going to wash their buttocks for you? Or is her own different from the ones you are going to give birth to? Come on now. Stop being a kid. Look. It seems she don't know what we are into. If this comes out in the open, it will affect us badly. So please, go back and do it. Oh, you don't see that as a problem. This is the same reason why I always ask us to see in the hotel and not come to your house. This thing would have been avoided. Now see, look at all that little girl is ordering us around. You are my wife's best friend. And what we have done is very bad. Let's clean it up. Let's clean it up permanently. Please, go and do what she has asked you to do. Hmm? Do you know what to do? Swallow more of your pride so we can achieve what we want. Come, 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 go. Joseph, I am go, saying go, it go, again. Go. I am doing this because of my job. I am doing this because of my job. 
a judge is not more important. This girl is suffering. Okay? It's not more important than my marriage. So just do what she's, you have to do. She's see. suffering me. Massage again? I'm not forcing you. I'm not forcing you. If you don't want, you can just leave. Besides, when you refuse to wash my bubble, I did it myself. I didn't complain. So if you're not ready to massage me, then you go. Purity is okay. Don't worry. I will massage you. But please, don't tell your mother what you saw. Okay? Hi, guys. Look at our house. She's helping me to massage my feet. I'm not going to pay her for this moment. Just choose to give me this piece. Look at that. Put your face! Put your face! Show your face. Yes, I'm not buying this. So she's trying to take my mother's place, but I will let her do that properly. Look at that. I'll kick you off. Just do that. Yes. She's a thief. She wants to take my father away from my mother. Look at that. Look again. Look at the camera. Look at the camera. Smile for the camera. Fast. I said you should smile for the camera. Mm -hmm. Yes. Captured. So you guys have seen her. Anyway, you see her. Just deal with her. This is. Hi, guys. No. But wait, I want her to carry me. Why? Yes, if she can't carry me, then I'm not going to. Carry you for what? Can't you walk with your legs? If you don't want to carry me, then let me go inside. Okay, come. Let me go with you. No, I want her to carry me. Joseph, talk to your daughter. You know I am definitely not going to do that. And I'm definitely going to tell my mother what I saw you were doing. Oh, it's okay. It's okay. Oh, no, 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 Take you out and make you happy, okay? Mm, but it's taking me out now. It's coming with condition. I mean, I don't, I don't like it. Hey, Ginger. Yeah. Yeah. There's no condition, okay? We don't just want you to tell your mom what you saw. Alright? So, whatever you want, just make sure that we're going to provide it. Mm -hmm. You could know, just go and buy me fried rice and chicken. I'll eat it instead of going out with you. I'll just go and buy it. Uh, go and buy me fried rice and chicken. Please, you can go and buy it. And if you take time, I will not eat it again. This 
kiss your daughter is something else. A few minutes ago, she agreed to go with us, and now she has changed her mind. So this. Let's stop running your mouth. We are already trapped. We'll have to find a way to get off our hook. Where is your side chick now? She should bring the food now. I hope my mother everything I saw. Mind you. Calm down. Hmm? She will soon be back. You don't need to tell your mother anything. Did you hear me? Okay? She bring the food. If I wait for her, I mean, mommy, it's not. If I wait for her, and I must see her, I will not eat the food again. I will reject it. Come, come, come. Come. What? Come now. I think your mommy's back. I'm using it to tell her that I love her. Repent, repent, repent. Mind you, she's my wife. I only will work on that back home. Is there anything wrong with that? Yes. So where's your side chick? Where's the food? She's coming. <laughs> I'm not going to the game. No. If she take another time, I'm not going to the game. No. I will, I mean, I'm saying my own. I will reject it too. So because of this 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 small thing that you caught your father, you want to snuff out life out of me, okay? Yeah, just right? Just can't it's not my fault. It's not my fault. So everybody's doing you go upstairs, go upstairs, go upstairs. Oh no, I don't know where she is. Me, I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Wait. Wait. Let me call. Let me call. She's not picky. I'm calling by now, begging to warm my bed. Why is he so stubborn? Ordinary fried rice and chicken. Let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Purity, your doom is here. You will eat this food and die. Let me see how you will end up exposing me and your father. You want me to lose my job. Nonsense.
Purity. Just few days of being here, I'm already looking this call. Just mm -hmm. you can say that again. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you were back. Well, I just came back not quite long. Okay, mm -hmm. I was actually coming to visit you guys, so I decided to stop at the mall and get something for my darling. I think we can take I got something for you. Oh, Natasha, that's so thoughtful of you. I mean, you and your love for my daughter. Please, you don't want to eat the for you. No, I don't want to eat it again. I want to eat the meat like chicken in a pot of milk. And but and purity. You don't reject the gift from a family friend. She's your mom's best friend, don't you know? I know, but I don't want to eat it again. Let me eat it with my mom is about to cook. <sighs> Please don't just ignore her, okay? You know how purity can be. But Thank you for the gift. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, purity. Oh, that's a beautiful gift. I have a lot of questions. Really? I can't wait to hear that. What do we do? She has rejected the food she asked me to buy for her. What do we do? Just relax. Make yourself feel comfortable so that no one will suspect anything happened. Do you hear me? You have to do something. I'll handle my daughter. Just feel comfortable. Okay? President, we're going to ask what happened when you were away. What happened? So tell me what happened. Um, is it about the electricity officials that came? <laughs> Honey, mm -hmm. you needed to see the drama. These guys came here and um, they were like, we are still owing them. Ah, I said, but oh, this house is not owing. Mm -hmm. They said from their records that they have. In the records that in the past we were owing, I said, No, they're not owing. Let you see the drama. The drama was too much, very much. Apart from that, I have something important to tell you. Hmm. And the thing is, is it uh, Mr. Johnson? Connie, Mr. Johnson and the wife were fighting. The next great level now, mm -hmm. they were fighting, throwing bottles at each other. I wonder what their kids will become in the future. And all the, mm -hmm. the, their kids were there watching. Wow. Wow. Okay, so you're done now, right? Mm -hmm. Everything that happened, I've told you to your mom. One more thing that happened with this house is... So what do you want to say other than what your father is telling you? No. No, I will tell you later, but I'll tell you in private. Tell me in private. Oh. My sweet angel. If you want to tell mommy what happened when I was away, you would have called me to tell me even before I came back home. Mm -hmm. So, since you did not call me, that proves that nothing happened. You cannot believe me. Yes. You don't have to be too sure that nothing happened. Whenever you go out and come back, you should always ask if something happened in the house. <laughs> okay, correction taken. Yes. So, my sweet angel. Can you tell mommy what happened when she was away? Thank you. Mm -hmm. uh, alright, alright, everyone, everyone, please. We are eating. This is bad table manners. Okay? Whenever you're eating, keep quiet and eat. Daddy has spoken. Let's eat. It's okay. Now eat your, eat food. your food. Eat your food. And your food. I'm talking now. You're talking? Oh, yeah. Oh, what is it? What, what is it? Have I not begged you? Eh? Have you not rejected the fried rice and chicken that we bought for you? Now you still want to go ahead and tell your mom what you saw. 
What's wrong with you? Let me tell her now, she's to rest. This is not better I tell her. Rest how? Do you know who they have up that thing is going to cause if we ever spill it out? Eh? If you spill it out, your, your, your mom will leave me. Is it not better she leave? Let her leave for so that everybody will rest. If she, if she leaves you, eh? everybody will calm down. You will wait and you will relax. Jesus Christ. This is what you are wishing your father. The broken home. Okay, now ask yourself. If you say it now, and it happens, where will you be? Mm. Where will I be? <laughs> that one is not possible. I'll find my mother and go anywhere she wants to go. Mm. Better she leave, she will leave dinner so that she, she, she will go with a good person and not somebody that doesn't want to go with her that's the wife. You're my daughter, and she's my wife. I paid her bride price, I paid, I paid for her head. Then we, we now give birth to you. So the two of you below, you are my property. You, you two belong to me. So why do you think you two will leave me and go? Because of it's a small thing that you saw that does not even mean anything. Eh? If it doesn't mean anything, then allow me to tell her now so that she will know if it's a mean something or doesn't mean anything. Thank you very much. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Your father is supposed to be giving you orders on what to do and what not to do. Did you hear me? You don't mean it's supposed to be begging me if I'm not threatening me. Is it because I'm being lenient? At least you beg me, beg me, then you will beg me. But I've been begging you. The begging is there, no, you increase it. That is how to do things. You don't have to just get angry unnecessarily. Just do things. Alright. Let's do it this way. Mm -hmm. okay. You have rejected the right fire sign, Okay. You, you, you don't want it, or should you still do it? I don't want it. Okay. Mention any other thing you want. I'll just drive out and get it myself. Hey, I need to not call at all. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, no, my mother is in the room. She's relaxing. So, I want you to just go there, calm down, go by her side, massage her legs, and sing beautiful stuff for her. For now. No, for now. Like, for now. Then, after that one, we'll come to me and talk. I don't want it to be happy. I don't. Only that one for now. Are you saying you're going to request for something else? Yes, but it's after that one. Not the main talk. The main talk is still on. Okay. Do you know what you do? Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. No, I'm opening it. But see you. I want you to sing in the opening of this song again. Um, what's the that song? Remind me. That's one. That two things. Um, African Queen. Let me just sing that. I don't want you to throw your face while singing it. Calm down so that you know you draw her while massaging. Okay. Don't use an anger and do the massage so that you know you draw her. Just calm down, take it to the massage. You are my African queen, a girl of my dreams. You take me where I've never been. You make my heart a thing I really. Oh yeah, you are my African queen. You make my heart a thing I really. Oh yeah, you are my African queen. A girl of my dream, and you remind me of a thing, and that is the African beauty. I love you. I love you. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> you really love you, my love. I love you too. It's so good to see you happy. Oh, thanks to your father. He's an amazing man. Yes, I love Honey, you are so romantic. Listen, I'll give you my heart, my love, my body, and my money. <laughs> Every other thing you think of, any other thing you think of. Honey! <laughs> <other thing. laughs> yes. I never knew you were this romantic. Mm. Wait, don't get me wrong. You're an amazing husband. But what you just did now, you haven't done it before. And I'm really happy. It mm. makes me feel good. No, it's this shows that my husband missed me so much. I guess I should be traveling more often. No. So that you will miss me so much. No. And you keep saying it like this for me. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. I love you too. Come here, darling. It's okay. Let me just sit here. You're busy. Must you sit here? Yes. Oh! <laughs> 
Okay, you're my baby. Are you going to admire my wife with me? Mm, yes, yeah, like my daughter. With me? Hi, no, she's my daughter. How are you, darling? Where's my daddy? Oh, he's in the bathroom. I want to discuss something with you. With me? Mm. What's that, honey? Mommy, I don't want you to sleep on the same bed or the same room with my daddy anymore. I don't want you to contact any disease. Purity? Yes, mommy. How do you mean? Your father is my husband. Why would you tell me not to sleep on the same bed with him? I know, but I'm just doing it for your own good. For my own good? How do you mean? Purity. Yes, ma'am. Are you having a mental a mental disorder? No, I'm fine. Don't no, worry. no, no, no. I think I need to get a no, psych no. psychologist for you. Maybe you need to go to the psychiatric hospital. No, I'm fine. You, no, you're not. Let me just call my daddy so you can fix my AC for me. Daddy! Daddy! Please, I need you to come fix my AC! So the AC in your room is working. I didn't call you for any AC. <laughs> I actually called you to warn you. Avoid my mother. Don't kiss her. Stop kissing her! You want to give her disease? Sorry. You came to my room to wake me up to warn me to stop kissing your mother. Yes! Who told you I have a disease? Well, my teacher said if you are not faithful to your wife, you would contact a disease. And as far as I'm concerned, you have contacted a disease and I don't want you to transfer it to my mother. It. Do you realize I'm your father? And your mother is my wife. So are you ordering me not to kiss or have anything to do with my own wife? Is that it? She cheated on her when she was a woman. Have you forgotten? You want to give her a disease? <laughs> is it that you kiss her and I tell her everything that happened? Or you stay on your own? Why, 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 why do, why do you always sound funny and serious at the same time? Okay, I'm promising you, I'm not going to do anything or kiss her. Is that okay? Fine. Good night. Good night too. Where are you going? I want to follow you to your room. At least I'll hide behind the door to make sure you don't kiss her or touch her. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Are you okay? Okay. I felt really bad. I'm sorry, honey. I was just tired. I promise I'm going to make it up to you this morning. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Anyhow you want it, any way you want it. So after telling my father to avoid my mom, he still want to be with her if I go to school. It will happen. My angel! Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are you, baby? Okay. Don't worry, school bus will be here. Mm -hmm. So, um... Go and tell the gate man so that he can help you get into the school bus. You no, know, I don't want to go the school bus. I want daddy to take me to school. Huh? Why? Why? I mean, you've always followed the school bus, so why the change of mind? I don't want to go on the school bus. I want daddy to drop me out of school. Okay. You're my only child for now, <laughs> so anything goes. So, 
I'm done. Alright, baby. I'll see you. Well, you took your lunch. Bye. Yes. Right. Please be careful. Okay. Mom. Okay. Bye. 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 Why did you ask me to pack? I think I did hear everything you told my mom. I heard everything you said. And for that, I am not going to school again. Purity. What is your problem? I don't want to go to school again. Just take me out. Take me somewhere else. I don't want to go to school again. I'm taking you to school. No! Don't take me to school. Okay, fine. Take me to a restaurant. Buy me food. Make me happy. You can call my teacher, tell her that I'm sick or I fell asleep on the way to school. Call my mommy, tell her that I'm sick. He took me to the hospital. Why are you punishing your daddy? Because he did something bad, you need to be punished. I don't want us to go home. Just take me somewhere. And just take me to the restaurant. Take me just anywhere. Uh. Sweetheart. Hey, what's going on? Why aren't you back? Uh, Purity feels sick and I took her to the hospital. Sick? How? I mean, she was perfectly fine before she left the house. Yes, it's nothing serious. It's just a minor fever. We'll be home soon, okay? Please, honey, just come back home, okay? Just come back home with us. Let her go to school today. She will go on Monday. Bye, right, baby. Love you. Love you too. Please drive safe, okay? Be careful. What are you? You want? No. Well, we are caught in this feeling. I can't believe it. Purity. Oh. What happened? Your daddy told me you were not feeling too well. But your temperature is normal. I'm getting better now. Anyways, thank God you insisted your dad should take you to school. What if you had followed the school bus? What would have happened? Look, you know what? I want you to go up to your room, mm? change your clothes, and have a good sleep. Okay? I can't not sleep alone. I want you to come with me. I will come, but I want to discuss something very important with your father. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Just come with me. Purity, don't do this. 
There is something important I want to talk to your father no. about. I can't go away. Okay. Pretty, why are you doing this? Are you just are you about to cry? Do you want to fall sick again? If you don't want to fall sick, then come with me. Okay, let's go. It's fine. Let's go. Um, I'll be right back. What have I done wrong? Someone tell me you start me from bad. You can take my spirits, my soul, you break it. Someone, what attracted you to my dad? I mean, what made you love you? Purity. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of question is that? I just want to know, I just want to know how much you love him. Okay, well, your father is a great man. Mm -hmm and really caring and intelligent so yeah i love good people that are intelligent <laughs> i would say that's what attracted me to him okay so have you ever kissed another man after your marriage of course not why would i do a thing like that <laughs> all right so do you love my father with all your heart? Yes, of course. I love I love my husband so much. Okay. And I can never leave him for any reason. So have you ever thought of leaving the marriage? Leaving my marriage? No. Oh, why would I want to do that? Wait, Purity, why are you asking me all those weird questions? Nothing much. My classmate only told me a story about her parents. A story? Yes. So what's the story about? Well, she said her father cheated on her mother. So when she found out, she left the marriage. So can I ask one more thing? If such thing happen in this family, are you going to leave? Purity. Purity. Yes, ma'am. I really don't understand your questions. What are you driving at? Okay, let me just say it like this. When you traveled, Mm -hmm. Something really terrible happened in this house. Something like what? <laughs> Honey, Daddy. What is wrong with you? So if I did come into your room, you would have opened your mouth and tell your mom that you caught me kissing Natasha. After all the whole bleeding, what is wrong with you? You know you're not a very way. I must really talk. My name is Purity. So I don't I don't like seeing evil. Once I see it, I will talk. I'll talk it out. Bibi. <sighs> see, let me tell you. Talking and saying the truth is, is good. Yes, but it's not every truth you see you, you, you say. You. See, before you say any truth, you have to ask yourself these three important questions. Number one is this truth I'm about to say, is it really necessary? It's very necessary. Shut up. Number two is, this truth I'm about to say now, is it going to hurt someone like hurting your mother? Number three is, this truth I'm about to say, will it destroy something like destroying my marriage with your mother? Well, you are going to confront your own bad body. Me, I'll still follow the, the original Bible, not the whole fake Bible. My Bible says that. Know the truth, and the truth is set to set you free. And it's the truth I'm, I'm, I'm following. I want to say the truth so that the, the truth will set me free. Because if I do not say this truth, that it will continue paining me, paining me, paining me, until I say it out. Okay, if you want me not to tell my mother, you will do 10 things for me. So promise me that you will do 10 things. Okay. 
，龙爸万。I don't want you to stay in the same room with my mother again. Huh? Number two, I don't want you to sleep on the same bed with her. Huh? Number three, I don't want you to have anything to do with my mother. Why? She's my wife. So now you don't give her infection. You don't give her like HIV. Are you not saying that I'm carrying the HIV? It's not like I. Are you not saying? It's the fact. Maybe. Okay, maybe, maybe you have a shabby now. You're not going to give it to my mother. No, let me just protect her now. My angel, I've been able to respond to you. And I've also been a good father to you. Have I not? You have been a good father to me, but you have not been a good husband to my mother because a good husband can never cheat on the wife. So, no need of begging me. Because if you see me begging me today now, next tomorrow you will still see me telling her. It's not my fault, you know. It needs to come out. Well, we are caught in this feeling. I can't believe it. I can't deceive her. I wish I can change my mind. Oh, yeah. Stop! Stop this! What is that? Stop this now! What is it? Problem. I don't want you to contact any disease. Stop the same. Disease? Yes. What disease are you talking about? You will not understand. He has mouth problem. So I don't want you to contact any disease. Are you not mistaken? Can you say? Hey? How can you say things like that to your father? Are you okay? Hey? How can you point you to this beautiful moment I'm having with your father to embarrass him like that? And if your father has not told her, I should be the first to know. Now I want you to apologize. Apologize. Now. And honey, why are you not saying anything? Why are you not saying anything? Do you want me to say anything? She, she just made an observation like that. I, I expect you to say what a father would say if a child misbehaves. Look at how she watched him on, on us to embarrass you. Are you here asking me what I want you to say? Ask me, mommy, you will not understand. In fact, that you go and brush your teeth. Keep quiet. I used to talk. I'm here talking to you. You're saying another one. And then what are you going to do? Don't tell me you're going to brush your mouth because of what Purity said. Honey, I mean, why are you acting this way? I don't understand. Why are you acting like it's normal for her to talk to you like that? Why are you not saying anything? Calm down now. You are very active. I mean, she's her child. Mm -hmm. Her tendency. In fact, she can remind us what we forgot. You see, I even forgot I didn't wash my mouth when I woke up. Let me quickly go and wash my mouth. My small mother, let me go and do what you asked me to do. Huh? Tell me what you said. What are you doing? I didn't go out this morning. You, Purity. You. You. I don't want to hear anything. Just go to you. Go to your room. We are caught in this feeling. I can't believe it. I can't deceive her. I wish I can change my Oh, yeah. Hi, girls. Ah, my love. How are you? How are you? Good. Yeah, that was. Oh, wow. Yes, I just want to appreciate you for being a good girl. Mm -hmm. You are my sweet daughter, the light of the family. I love you. In fact, you have continued to be a good girl. That is my strength. Wow. No, 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 no. You don't have any height anymore. In there are shoes and clothes. I got you a little bag. <laughs> Hold on. Are you saying you got all this for her? Yes. Today is not even her birthday. Why are you buying all this expensive stuff? Oh, you come on. My child is a special child. And she is celebrated every day. Not all your happy days. I know she's a special child. But, you know, buying all those expensive things for her on a normal date. Jealous. 
Come on, honey. I am not jealous. I just. I'm not jealous. You are not going to ruin this moment for us. So, I have to come in just come. I have to give my daughter a special treat. You are, but this is so hard. Love the place. What's going on? My husband spent all this money just like that. No. This is unlike him. How can he spend that much on purity on a normal day? Even on our birthdays, we don't spend that much. Do you like that? Yes! A <laughs> uh, lot, a lot inside. Really, last Okay, so, are you trying to tell me that my secrets are safe with you? Mm. Yes and no. No? See, in as much as you got me this gift, I appreciate. But that doesn't mean you will still kiss or touch my mother. I don't want you to infect her with any disease. That is just, I'm just trying to protect her. But I'm healthy. I don't have any disease in me. But Aunt Natasha, I'm very sure she has disease. And you kissed her. So, I'm very sure you two contacted the disease. You see, my angel. Um, there is no way I'm going to avoid kissing your mother. Okay? She's my wife. Okay? I just want you to trust me that I do not have any disease. But I won't accept I hear it from the hospital. Okay, you want us to see a doctor? Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. Um, just arrange your stuff. Let's go. Not today. Why? Tomorrow, because I wanted to wash my clothes today. What? <laughs> want me to wash your clothes? And I don't want you to use any washing machine. I want you to use your hand. Since you cheated on my mother, I don't want her to do anything in this house again. I want you to do all the works. I like the clothes. Thank you. Where I'm caught in this feeling, I can't believe that I can't deceive it. All I can take it. Hey, Bill. What's up? I'm here. Over here. What's up? Is that a problem? What are you doing? Sophia, so I'm watching. You know, you know, it's been a long time I did this kind of exercise, so I decided to try it out. Is that not Purity's clothes? Yes, my, my lovely daughter's clothes. Why are you washing her clothes? Why? Baby, there is nothing wrong with it now. I'm just trying to help around the house. What if someone comes in here to see you washing her clothes? What would you say? Well, there is nothing to be ashamed of. It's my family. Anyhow, I like, I handle things. Wait, honey, come on, you shouldn't be doing this. You should just get up. Let's let's go inside. For what now? Let me finish. I'm almost done. Don't worry. Honey, I said no. Stop it. Please. Come, let's go in. No, let me finish. Honey, you can't be doing this. I don't like this at all. Let us. Just... Mind you. Go ahead. Oh, Why did you send your father to wash your clothes? Um, um... what? Are you all right, Purity? What sort of rubbish is that? Come on, let's take this post back to your room. Now! Can I take it? Oh, no, my angel, don't worry. I'm, I'm almost done. I'm almost done. Almost done with what? She is taking this post back to her room. No, now, take them! No, 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 what is wrong with you? Did you really tell me anything? Why are you doing this? No. Just go inside. Let me finish it. You are not blocking the way. You don't know. Baby, please no. stop stressing yourself. I'm only there exercising. There's nothing wrong. There is something wrong. No, there is nothing wrong. Really? 
Well, we are caught in this feeling I can't believe it I can't deceive it It's an angel It's an angel It's an angel There is something I want to ask you Do you have a spiritual problem? I mean, do you have a spiritual power that enables you to control the father to be with you? Oh, God! So, I don't have any spiritual power. And I'm not controlling my father either. Everything goes for me. It is really. I don't believe you. I don't. Okay, if what you're saying is the truth, that you don't have a spiritual problem or you don't have diabolical power, then that means there is something you and your father, there's something you're hiding from me. Is there something that happened that you think I should know? So tell me that is something that terrible happened to you. And I think the time I've been waiting to tell you this thing. The thing is, come on, tell me what is this? What happened? It's about the education official in order to do that. You need to see the way this talk is all about the creators. You need to see the way this talk is all about the creators. When was the whole time to come inside this school and treat the face? I'm like, what is wrong with you? You need to see pretty things actually. I've told you the story now. Yeah? You see these people, I mean, they needed to be a home to see them. They were behaving like criminal, you know, messing with those straight up. Ah. The cricket is cursing in this compartment. You need animals! I think you need to conduct this with professional children. Yes, ma'am. You told them now. Yes! I strongly don't believe you people. You are lying to me. But whatever it is, I will find out myself. And the story you gave me about the electricity officials, that's not true. That can be the reason you treated your father the way you do. Save him on errands and save us your need. Like I said before, whatever it is, I'll find it. Um, there is this uh, white scare skirt. I think it has a top, right? It's not there. It's not there. It tells you out. So come and show me the If I go and show you, I will give it over. I just want everything to do this bad thing here for you. Well, we are caught in this feeling. I can't believe it. I can't deceive her. I wish I can change my mind. Oh, 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 yeah. Okay, so I'm waiting to give you these items. I want you to get them for me in the Let me see. Thank you. Purity. Yes, Purity, what's the meaning of this? What are you doing with all those expensive stuff? Huh? I just want to. Want him to what? Let me take it. These are too expensive. Really, this is too much. A few hours ago, you bought her some clothes and shoes, and now she wants this. Yes, baby. Those ones I bought was from my own discretion. This is her own demand. Okay, and then. Um, I don't see anything big here for a father to do for a daughter. It's a normal thing. I'll really? Do it. Yes, baby. I'll get them for you. Okay? okay. <laughs> so, making her happy is by buying these outrageous things? At her tender age, what did she do with a bag of 120,000 naira? Shoes not less than 
200k at her tender age to go to this place properly. Ah, come on, look, we have the money. God has blessed us. Okay, with one million naira, I will sort out this thing. It doesn't make it, baby. Don't worry, I'm sure. And please do not forget to give me ice cream and chicken as well. Be sure. Hey, Angel. The rest I showed you get it. Your ice cream and chicken from daddy. Alright. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Don't worry, let's go. Come. Honey, you can't keep spoiling this girl. It's, you're spoiling her too much. Next time, if you see another woman aside my mom, you run. How did you get to know about this? Because a lot has been happening. A whole lot has been happening. I think she she possessed this spiritual power that she used in controlling my husband and her parents. Or throwing him about. Throwing him to do whatever she wants. And he does it without complaining. Really? No. She really now controls my husband like a robot. Yesterday, she gave him her clothes, asking him to wash them with his hands, not with washing machine. And my husband gladly accepted. No, he did not even complain. To that extent. To that extent. And do you know that? You know what I'm going to do? My husband and I. My husband and I know what I'm going to do. Once it's time for us to meet them, purity will appear from nowhere to interrupt it. And after that, my husband will tell me that he's no longer in the mood. Really? Hmm. My dear, this is very serious. Very, very serious. I invited you to come and help me to do it. So if it's if even if it's not spiritual, because my husband said it's love. Or even if it's love, she shouldn't take advantage of her father's love towards her and be ordering him about. It's not good. It's not good at all. With all you just said, I think it's spiritual. This is not a man. And I don't think she would listen to me because there's a spirit in her mind. So what do you advise her to? You know you're my best friend. I don't know what to do. I need to do something before this girl will use her straws to finish my whole spank. I'm thinking of sitting spiritual home. Maybe calling a pastor to deliver her. I think that's a good idea. Mm. She needs deliverance. Yeah. She needs it all. You should take her because this is getting out of hand. It's really getting out of hand. Uh, Hey, you keep quiet. Shut up! Imagine the way you're talking to your elder. So, eh? so you don't understand what happened in this house when you were power. What do you want to tell me? The same thing you've been telling me all this while. I don't want to hear it. Now go to your room. Go to your room! I was actually going outside to get the clip I spread. So I think now you're around. You should help me get them and I Okay, there's no problem. I'll do that immediately. Right. Hey, sit down, sit down. What do you want to do? You want to? Are you not taking orders from my daughter? Oh, Benita. Stop sounding like that. It's not an order. You know, I love purity so much, and there's nothing wrong with my plan. Don't worry. I'm you will do no such thing, Natasha. You will do no such thing. Hey, what is wrong with all of you in this house? Auntie Natasha, you're wasting my time. Oh, don't worry. Benita, calm down. Don't worry, I'll do that. Natasha! <sighs> calm down. Natasha! Benita, just calm down. There's nothing wrong with that. Purity. Yes, ma'am. Are you possessed? I'm not possessed, I'm fine. I mean, how do you give adult orders and they obey you? Like I said, you understand, Benita. 
In the mighty name of Jesus, that evil spirit in you, I command you to come out in the name of Jesus. I am not possessed. I'm okay. Leave Jesus' name alone. I'm fine. <laughs> What are you doing? Also, my daughter has succeeded in casting a spell on you too. Natasha, you of all people, you're doing this? I called you here to complain how my daughter is controlling my husband with her spiritual powers. And you came here and allowed yourself to be used by my daughter. Benita, come on. There is nothing wrong with what I am doing. And I don't see anything wrong in granting a mere request that Purity asked for. After all, she's the only daughter to my best friend, so I need to pump her. Who is your best friend? My mommy can never be your best friend. Did you get that? It's like you're talking too much now. Concentrate on the work I gave you. Concentrate! No, there is something wrong. This is not ordinary. This is really not ordinary. I have to do something about this. Purity. Purity, please, you have to let go of this. Let go of what? Your mom is beginning to suspect. Let go of what? I'm asking. Let go of what? Are you giving me anything? Purity, I will give you anything you want. Just mention it, please. You give me anything? Yes. Anything at all? Anything. Okay. So, I like your shoes. My shoes? Mm -hmm. But they are not your size. I know. But I like them. Okay, you know what? When next I am coming, I'll, I'll give it to you. No. I'll bring them for you. No, 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 no. If you're not giving them to me now, then no deal. It's fine. It's okay. You can have it. Your hair too. What? I like your hair. Purity, can't you just stop? I said I like your hair. It's fine, it's okay. What, what will I wear home? Anything. Just drop it. Drop it and get back to work. Go back. This is too much. Do you want to beat me? Beat me. Beat me. Get back to work. Next time if it's someone's husband, you change your fault. Pastor, Pastor, you need to come here as soon as possible. Pastor, my daughter has totally lost it. Yes! She is no longer the purity I used to know. My husband is like a remote in her hands. Same with my friend that just got here. The way she orders them around, she orders them and they do it willingly without even complaining. Pastor, this is really getting out of hand. You need to come and deliver my daughter. I don't know what is wrong with my daughter. But yes, Pastor, I think she has been possessed by this powerful spirit that makes her other people around and they obey her effortlessly. Yes, Pastor, okay. I'll be waiting. Please, please, just, just come around. Thank you. Natasha. Natasha, where is your, your wig and your shoes? Oh, I gave them out to Purity. She said she likes it, so I had to give it to her. You did what? You gave Purity your, your wig and your footwear? Are you going to go home like this? It's nothing, my dear. I just want to make her happy. That's why I gave it to her. Don't worry, I have to go. We'll see you later, okay? Natasha, what is wrong with you? It's nothing. You know I love her so much. <sighs> what is going on with these people? I don't understand what is going on. How will, how will purity... 
Collect Auntie Natasha's wig and shoes. What are you going to do with it? I know one thing about you. You don't know the people you call your friends. So if you were asked to list out all your friends, you would call that Aseta your friend, right? What do you mean by Aseta? I mean, so you've not noticed. Okay, just try and spell her name backwards. You see it? It's Aseta. And you're calling her your friend. <laughs> Purity. Purity, I hope you're not running mad. I hope it is not the evil spirit in you that is doing all this. I just hope so. Why, why, why would you let the devil I'm use you like this? Why? Mad. Why I would you let the devil use you? Like I'm, I'm fine. 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 I
So I have to come home alone. And I, I met both of them kissing. Kissing? Yes. yes. My husband and Natasha? Yes. I've been using it to blackmail him. And because he wanted the secret to be sealed, he had been doing everything I asked for. That is why he had been buying me all those gifts. Doing everything I asked him to do, even until Natasha put up my job in respecting me. Even the other day, he lied to you. The other day, he told you I felt sick and he had to take me to the hospital. Yes. He lied. You see, he took me to the restaurant, he bought me chicken and other things. He just wanted me to keep the secret. But he apologized. He's really sorry. Oh my God, I don't even know what to think anymore. I mean, why would Joseph do a thing like this to me? Joseph and Natasha! Mm. I can't do this. I can't take this. I cannot oh, take he, this anymore. Oh, he's sorry. He apologized to... You sleep with my husband. How are you, Natasha? You, my best friend. You went ahead to betray my trust. Peter, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry, please, I'm sorry. You didn't mean to do it. God will punish you. Why I should forgive you? Natalia! Why should I forgive you, Natasha? Why? Why should I forgive you? I'm sorry. That's fault. I don't want to see you anywhere close to me. And as for you dropping the company, you're fine. Ah, oh, please. I don't ever want to see you anymore. close to that company. Ever again. I'm sorry. Please, please forgive me. I didn't mean to do it. I'm sorry. Do you know you're an idiot? Do you know you are an idiot? Wait, 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 Oh, and that's suffered a lot for me. Please. Purity, my darling, you need a clean and a better environment. Not here. Your father has really messed up himself. And we cannot continue living with him. My angel, I will take you to a good psychologist who can recondition your mindset so you don't think that all men are the same. So you don't think that all men are as silly and irresponsible as your father. Please, come with me. Let's go. Please. Look, look. Please. I don't want what happened here to make you hate me in the future. I mean, can you just come? Let's go. No, I'm just going to go. Please, I'm sorry. Forgive me. I, 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 I promise I will spend the rest of my life making it up to you. I love you so much and I cannot stay without you, please. Please. Please forgive me. He did everything I asked him to do because he wasn't happy. He wasn't proud of his actions. Will you keep quiet? What do you even know? 
Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Cadê como? Cadê como? Ah, vamos ver se há. Vamos ver se há. Cadê como? Ah, você sabe como é? Não, não tinha nada. Não, não tinha nada. Hey, como é? What is it? Where are you driving her to? And the bag you you you're driving. Where are you going to? Mama, this house is no longer conducive for my daughter and I. Why? But physically and emotionally, it is no longer conducive. Why? How? Mama, your son is sleeping with my best friend. And your grandchild caught him red-handed. Hmm? Huh? You're shocked, right? Your son had the guts to sleep with my best friend in a matrimonial home. Mama, how could you do a thing like that? Look, we are leaving this house because we are no longer staying in this house. Do it, let's go. Please, hold on, please. Eh? I am very, very sorry about that. Why would Joseph do a thing like that? Honestly, I condemn this strongly. I condemn it strongly. Please. But however it is, notice that every home has its own problem. It runs everywhere, my dear daughter. No, I won't agree with you on that. It doesn't ring everywhere. Because there are still good men out there that doesn't cheat on their wife. And my father is a good example of that. And that's because I was raised in a responsible home. So I won't agree with you or anyone who says it rains everywhere. Mama, I won't agree with you on that. Purity, let's go. Mom, stop. Let's go. I don't want to go. What to do with my daddy to die of depression? If you leave him now, how will he survive? Then let him call his side chick to come and console him. I don't know why you're saying, no, I don't know. Purity! No! Purity! No! Purity! No! Purity! Purity! No! Purity! No! Listen to her now. Don't. If you cannot listen to me as your mother in law, can't you listen to your own daughter? Did you hear what I literally just said to you? Do you want my son to die of depression? I'm asking you. Do you know what it means for a man to be abandoned by his beautiful wife and only child? Eh? I am going into that house not to reconcile or forgive you, son. I am going to get my daughter because I will not leave my child with an irresponsible man. A cheat will not raise my child. Get it! Get it behind your head! You're not going anywhere. Let me pack you. A man who cheats will always cheat. He will do it over and over again. But mom, you know some people can change for good. You always teach me to forgive people and give them a second chance when they apologize. That is what I'm trying to do. Let's just give dad a second chance. He has changed. Open this door now. Open this door, purity. This house is not the best environment for us to stay. Please. Put this door so we can leave here. You know I can't live without you. Same way he can't live without you. Please, mom, just forgive him, please. 
I forgive you, you just do the same. Purity! Don't let me break down this door! Must I tell you that? You're my son, and I have the right to come to your house anytime, any moment I wish to. Eh? It's true. And what is this I had you did? Just like you have the nerves to sleep with your wife's best friend in this house. How could you have done such a horrible thing to that good woman, Benita? Ah. Yeah, I'm not proud of it. Honestly, I've been trying to find a way to talk to her, but she insisted on living with our daughter. I so. And I know that you're here. Please, you help me beg her to stay. Joseph. Joseph. Look, I don't know how you're going to do it, and I do not care how you're going to do it, but go and get me my daughter. Even if it means breaking down the door, just get me my daughter. I want to go with her. My daughter, please calm down. Are you doing all this because I'm your mother in I should mean I'm your biological mother. Couldn't you have listened to me for once? Mama, I respect you so much. And I will never look down on you. But you see, in this case, I am talking about my safety and that of my child. Mama, a cheating partner is a dangerous one. Yes. One day he may decide to plan with his psychic to kill me so he can bring her in. Mama, I can forgive anything and everything on earth. But you see, cheating? That's where I cross the line. Joseph, go in there and get me my daughter! My love. My love, my youth. I know I'm disappointed. I know you are so angry and do not wish to see my face anymore. It's justified. I, I know I stabbed you where you hurt most. I didn't just cheat on you with your best friend. I did it right under the roof of an automobile home. And they found the vow we made to each other. Sorry, I'm sorry. You just stop. Can you just stop it? Because the more you apologize to me, the more angry I get. The more you see you are sorry, the more I want to strangle you with my bare hands. Just stop it. Joseph, now I hate you. I don't love you anymore. And I can never love you again. Never. Benita, take it easy with your words. He is your husband. However, please, we can solve this as a family. There is nothing to sort out, Mama. There is absolutely nothing to sort out. And as for you, Joseph, I will be back to get my daughter. And the next time I come and she doesn't follow me, I will make sure I bring down this house. And I mean every word that I say. So you have better go and convince her to go with me the next time I come here. Else, Joseph, else, you will regret ever knowing me. I promise you. And if you think I will let my daughter grow up under the care of an irresponsible man, then you must be mistaken. Calm down. I'll call her when she's calm. Okay, I'll call her on phone. Sorry. Mama, I've suffered. Mama, I've suffered. I've suffered so much for this particular issue. My daughter turned me into a slave in my own house. Yes. See today, she is going to leave my house. What? Yes, I will disown her. She will leave this house and never be my daughter. Where? 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 Where?
You. 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 You have achieved your aim, right? No, 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 you have achieved. Are you happy now? Let me tell you. I can no longer father you. Huh? That's it. What did you say? Yes. You cannot father your own child? <laughs> Joseph, you are joking. That has never happened in my family and can't just happen here now. <laughs> Can you hear yourself? How did I not beg you? Did I not beg you? Did I not apologize with, with, with almost everything mm -hmm. apart from my life? I bought you expensive gifts. I, 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 I bought you even the things you didn't need. You! You! Now my wife is gone. What's, what's your game? What's your game? Go and bring my wife back. That's the only way we can have peace in this house. Please forgive me, please. Look at the way you talk to her as if you're talking to a daughter straight. Eh? Your own daughter. If you had been faithful to yourself and to your wife, you this is wouldn't have come to play. You brought it upon yourself. You're a demon. You're a demon and I will treat you as one. The only reason I will leave you one more minute in this house is for you to go out there and look for my wife. If not, I will kill you. Well, okay, I will kill you. I'm coming. Daddy, please. I'm just trying to protect my mother. So, I didn't do it intentionally. I didn't know she was at the door. It's okay. It's okay. Eh? It's okay. Don't mind him. Eh? Don't just mind him. Stop apportioning blames to yourself, okay? I am here. And I will make sure that your mother comes back. Are you hearing me? It's okay. Don't, don't just mind him. He brought the nonsense to himself, so he should face it. Eh? So don't don't even allow that to bother you, you know? It's my child. It's okay. It's okay, my dear. Well, we are caught in this feeling. Stop, stop. I can't believe it. I can't deceive her. I wish I can change my So we must go. How can a man have a beautiful working class black like you? And he still looks outside for another woman. What is so special about Natasha? Hmm? That's why I keep saying you should mind the kind of friends you keep. Majority of them are evil. Eh? They only present themselves as friends. Just to get one or two things from you. Just imagine Natasha. You know. I have been asking myself this question. Why? Why, Natasha? Even if my husband wanted to cheat it, why my best friend, Natasha of all people? Why would he do this to me? Why? I'm shocked. I can't still believe someone you employed. I even took her like a sister. You even give her a free hand in your company, more than me, your own blood sister. Yes, now I understand that some, some friends are evil. They are so evil. Just look at what my goodwill has done to me. I was only trying to help a friend. I was only helping a friend out. Just imagine what my benefactor has done to me. Stop crying, Benita. Stop crying. I don't like seeing you in tears. It breaks my heart. <laughs> Just put yourself together. You know you are the only sister that I have. I wouldn't want anything to happen to you. Because I can't even bear it as a person. I am so broken. My heart is shattered. Natasha has ruined my hope. Natasha has left me with regrets. The wound that can never be healed. My best friend destroyed my home. <laughs> she ruined me. This is a lesson for people out there to learn. Hmm? Not everyone that condemns them, <laughs> your friends, are true friends. <laughs> it's okay. Leave it. Stop crying. Stop crying. 
Stop crying. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> well, we are caught in this feeling. I can't believe it. I can't deceive her. I wish I came to any man. Look what I've done to myself. I regret ever having anything to do with a married man. I was almost killed for sleeping with someone's husband. I have also lost my job as a result of my foolishness. I will never ever sleep with another woman's husband again in my life. It's not a good thing. I have learnt my lessons. Unfortunately, I learnt it the hard way. Where do I start to look for a new job now in this country? And I'm even owing the bank. How do I service the loans I took now that I'm jobless? Honestly, you can't write so much anger on your own person. What did you call her? Purity. <laughs> She's the opposite of her name. Forget all those crocodile tears. No, but do you know what I passed through in the hands of that little rat? Eh? Do you know what I went through? My own daughter had in her heart towards me. I pleaded with her to forgive me. She blatantly refused. Now she has ruined my marriage. And I would never forgive her. Yes. Forgive her. Yes. Huh? She told me it wasn't her intention to be for me. She told me everything. Since who? <laughs> it has been her intentions from day one. Yes, I knew it. Because of her actions. Forget those crocodile tears. I know what I went through in her hands. Yes. What kind of a child will humiliate her father to that point? But well, listen, eh? the truth is. Purity is living this place. I don't care where she goes. Yes! Because seeing her around this vicinity will make me do something that all of us will regret. <laughs> I don't understand what you You have not come out of the stupid thing you just committed. And you want to do another stupid thing. Be careful. Calm down. If you don't handle this matter well, honestly, you will lose it. Now that you have your daughter beside you, why don't you use her to give back your heart? Yes, I know she can give her. Well, I don't need her help anymore. Yes, when I needed her help has passed. Mama, you know what? I want you to please tell Purity to stay very far from me. Yes, very. she should avoid me at all costs. Because if she comes close to me, I'll break her bones. Break whose bones? My own daughter. My own granddaughter. Honestly, you need to keep her from Can you imagine? After you've brought this whole thing to yourself, I don't even know why men cannot do their family program. Eh? Look at you. I don't think it's a woman that did that, that you will want to do. Eh? Tell me about it. Hi, mommy. Oh my god, sweetheart. Are you okay? What's the problem? What's the problem? Talk to me. What is it? Mommy, please, can you come back home? I miss you so much. Please, I want you to forgive Daddy, please. I beg of you, please. Daddy doesn't even want to see me anymore because he believes I'm the reason you left. He's a coward. How can he blame you for a crime you committed? What, what rubbish is that? But I frustrated him a lot. I treated him so bad. It's not his fault. Like, I feel so guilty because I caused everything. Shh, just listen to me. You see the reason why I want to take you out of the house? 
They're going to mess up with your brain. They're going to make you feel like the villain. Honey, I promise to send you abroad if you agree to leave the house. You and I will relocate to Canada and, and live a good life. You will go to one of the best schools there while I get myself a job. Mimi, listen, it's not like I don't want to go abroad. But how about Daddy? How will he cope? Please, let's just reunite, please. Just cut him some slack. I know he did something bad, but at least just forgive him. Please, give him this one more chance. He won't do it again. He's really sorry, please. No, 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 Purity. I am not coming back. It is over between your father and I. I am not coming back to the house. Just take good care of yourself, okay? And I will surely come back for you. Good night. I cost all this. I should have just been quiet. Who's that? Why? Why is she owing you? So you're not satisfied yet? After destroying a lovely family, you're still coming back to ask for my mother. Why? Why are you looking for her? Purity, calm down. I know what I did was wrong, and that's why I'm here. I need to apologize to your mom. Apology kill you there. Now leave this house. Now! I'm happy she injured your head. She should have cut off your head. Just get out! You're back again to, to sleep with my father, right? No. Just leave. I'll push you. Get out. Get out. Purity. Just leave. Purity, stop pushing me. Uh, get out. Get out. Leave. Purity, stop. Leave. Stop. Don't come to this company. Just leave. Leave. I'll push you again. Leave. I need to see your mother. I said you should leave this compound right now. Purity, leave. stop it. Purity. Why are you pushing your elder like that? She can never be my elder. She's the prostitute that made my mother leave her matrimonial home. What? Be mama. So, you are the lady that betrayed your own friend. The she that slept with my own son. Eh? Ma, if you would give me the time, I would like to explain everything in details. What happened between me and Joseph wasn't intentional. Mm -hmm. I am so sorry, and that's why I'm here to see Benita to apologize to her. That is not necessary. As we speak, Benita has backed out of her house. What? Yes. She abandoned her husband and moved out of her home, all because of what you did. How could you have done that to your own friend, despite how much she trusted you? Eh? A woman that employed you and placed you in a better position in her company. You still have the nerves to backstab her. Is it that betrayal is in your blood or what? Mama, I feel remorseful for what I did. I am truly sorry. Right now, I am losing everything. Mm -mm. You will lose all, even your life, if you don't take Mama, care. Mama, I need to see Benita. I took a loan from the bank with the intention that I will pay my salary. Mm. But now that she has sacked me, I don't have anywhere to get the money from. Huh? Please, I need to see Benita. I need to apologize to Benita. Please. She wants to apologize mm. because she needs money now. So let's just assume that my mother is not your boss. She's not paying you all. Let's just say that you don't need money. Let me see. Wouldn't even bother to come and apologize. Okay. Right? It's not about the money. Like I said, I feel remorseful. I need to You're feel nothing. of no use. Just You're get out. You feel nothing. This is brother-like selfishness. Why? 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 Move. 
If you know, ini malah kisip pak petang bung baik, pada pesnya pak. Keep going! Well, we are caught in this feeling I can't believe it I can't deceive it I wish I can't change my mind Please, can you listen attentively? I need to talk to you now. Mama, if what you're going to tell me is to get back to yourself, Mama, I would not do that. I won't. No, that is not why I call. I call in respect of your daughter, Purity. Purity? What happened to her? My dear, I can't say exactly. Purity just developed illness overnight. Before we could rush her to the hospital, she became unconscious. To her, I mean, she was she was very okay before I left the house. So how come she's suddenly ill? Ha, Mama, nothing should happen to my daughter. Or I beg you to, in the name of God, nothing should happen to my daughter. So where is she? Now you know why I called. Her father rushed her to the city hospital. I beg you, nothing should happen to Purity, okay? I don't want anything to happen to her. I'll be on my way right now. Yes, I'm coming to the. hospital. To my daughter. What did you do to my daughter? Oh, so you wanted to kill her? You wanted to kill her because she exposed you of your infidelity. Right? I didn't do anything to her. Look, everything happened so fast and uh, it's strange to me. Oh, it's strange to you. You know what would be most strange is what I would do to you if anything happens to my daughter. If anything happens to my daughter. Oh, so you think I don't know that you and your evil psychic want to kill my daughter? Because she exposed you people. You people want to kill her. Well, let me tell you something, Joseph. If you do anything to my daughter, you will have me and the government to contend with. I promise you that. We'll to that. That's your business. Please, I want to see my daughter. Where is she? 
She's had the emergency ward. We first all by the right, but the doctor said we can't see her, so we'll have to wait. I have to see her. I need to make sure she's okay. Madam, madam, no, madam, madam, you can't be here. Nobody's allowed in here, please. Doctor, no, you can't. No, the patient doesn't need noise. Doctor, please. Doctor, this is my child. My only child. Madam, listen. The patient doesn't need this noise right now. Doctor, please, I can't leave my child here. I can't leave. I need to know what Joseph and, and Natasha, I need to know what they did to my child. I need to know. Calm down. Calm down. I want to do my job. Right? Doctor, Doctor, you can't ask me to leave. You can't ask me to leave my child. This is my only child. This is the only asset that treasures my heart. The only one that makes me feel complete, Doctor. Please, you can't, you can't tell me to leave my Madam, right, right, right now you're making my job difficult for me. There's no intention to do that, but Doctor, please, I want you to save my child for me. Okay, maybe I will just... Maybe you can do the job better than me. No, 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 no. Let me just leave. No, 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 no Doctor, no, Doctor. It's fine. Oh, God, but please... Don't let anything happen to my child. Just, okay? just relax, relax. I don't want Madam, anything to happen Madam, to her. Madam, just relax. Okay, I understand that if you just relax, right? We are doing everything in the book to make sure she recovers. Okay, yeah, just take things easy. Thank you. Right? Just with that perception. Told you everything I know. Mm. What is it? Why are you embarrassing me? Please let me go. No, don't let you go. I will not let you go. Just a, I promise you, I will disgrace you here. I will disgrace you here. You are me. I will embarrass you. You are embarrassing me. I will embarrass you. Because that is what you deserve. Beat my clothes this No! I would not. That is what you deserve. You don't deserve any respect. A cheating husband doesn't deserve any respect. All that, madam. What are you people doing? This is not right. This is the hospital premises. You guys are not supposed to be fighting or holding each other like that. Then tell this wicked man. Tell him that nothing should happen to my daughter. Tell him that nothing should happen to my daughter. It's okay. Please, now calm down. It's okay. Let's go. Let's go. I'm not letting go. Please, ma'am. It's okay. I will embarrass you here today. Oh, I will embarrass you. I was supposed to be here. Doctor. Doctor, how is she? Calm down. Please help me with my daughter. How is she? Please, doctor. Yeah, your daughter just responded to treatment. Ah, oh, thank God. Yes. Thank God. Thank God. So, doctor, can we see her now? Can we go and see her? Oh, yes, you can, but that will be later. For now, she needs to rest properly. Okay? Are you going to take things easy? Alright? Take things easy. I'm not. Sir. And get those uh, medical reports in office. Okay, sir. <laughs> Well, we are caught in this feeling I can't believe it I can't deceive her I wish I can't change your mind Shameless man You see you under your side chicken God will punish you Till you enter your grave It will never be well with you Benita, stop Everything you people have done to me God will repay you back in hundred folds. Benita, please stop. Stop what? No, what do you want me to stop? Am I lying? Are you not a shameless man? Are you not a woman rapper? Who? Purity. I had to pretend to be sick just to bring you home. Because I knew that this is the only reason you would come to this place. Since I'm gone, I tried to reach out to you, but 
to your only stomach. Please. I want you to forgive me that. Please. No. Please. No, I cannot do that. I cannot forgive your father. I can't oblige you to your request. Purity, why are you doing this? Wait, is this is this the prank you and your useless father came up with? No, he's not even aware of this prank. He's not aware of it. I, I, I planned it alongside the grandma. Really? Yes. It haunts me seeing this once peaceful and lovely family being destroyed by one one nonsense person. Please. I know he did something bad. Please. Look, look, you can ask me to do that. I'm glad that you're okay and glad that you're fine. Can you go and open the door? I want to leave baby, here. I want to go. Baby, please. Please. Uh, I'm sorry. I'll never do it again, please. I promise you. Okay? Purity, don't do this. I need to leave. I cannot forgive your father. Baby, please. I cannot. Baby, please. I'm sorry. Well, we are caught in this feeling. I can't believe it. Purity, I can't. Why are you making this difficult for me? Fine! Fine! You can't forgive him, right? Good! Then I want to kill myself. I want to kill myself for both of you since you can't make peace anymore. I will kill myself for you. And if I die, my blood will be on your head. Please stop saying that. You will not die. I will die. You will not. I will die. Purity, you will not Watch die. Watch me swallow this. Oh. 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 I forgive you, okay? I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you, Father. I promise. For your sake. I forgive him. Please stop dying. Don't do this. Show sure. Please, I, I promise you, I will never misbehave again. It's you and I forever, please. Please, my Lord, please. Well, we are caught in this feeling. I can't believe it. I can't deceive her. I wish I can change my <laughs> I am so happy now that everything is sorted out. My son, I know you were so surprised to see me walk into your house. Actually, I had a dream about you. And I decided to come and check to be sure all is well with you. How could I have known that you people had this kind of problem? Possibly would have escalated so much if I had not been here. That is to say, that dream was a pure revelation. Please, you people need to be very clear. Building a strong and beautiful home is not easy. And all you need is to remain prayerful in order to resist temptations coming from here and Please, I beg you, always put your family in front. First, before any other thing. I beg you, my son. So my I, I thank you so much for the role that you've played in bringing that my lovely wife back to me. Oh. Um, you and my angel here played your part very well. <laughs> <laughs> because I thought something bad was about to happen to my daughter. 
But I didn't know that you you both planned it all to reunite this family together. Thank you so much, Mama. Please, I'm sure you must have learned your lessons. <sighs> yes, Mama, in a hard way. <laughs> now you know there is no other woman out there that is worth this beautiful home that God has blessed you with. Exactly. And you, my daughter. Yes, Mama. Please. Not like I want to say, don't keep friends that are single and still searching. But I just want to advise you, you keep more of married women who have like minds with you. Who resents the way you reason? Those who are passionate in building beautiful homes like yours. Please. You see, it wouldn't be nice you use your hand and break your own home. So avoid all those wolves in sheep clothing. And uh, I must tell you this. You're a nice woman. And God will continue to bless you for me. Amen. And also bless your heart. Amen. 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 Mama, thank you so much. Thank you for your wonderful advice. And we promise that we have heard you and we put them in practice. And God bless you too for me. Thank you. I wish you stayed in your door. Well, we are caught in this feeling. I can't believe it. I can't deceive it. I wish I can't change my We begging for mercy, please my mercy, please my mercy, please mercy. We begging for mercy, no I will fend you back. I know I will fend you back. Mercy, mercy. I did everything for love. I did everything a woman should do. What have I done wrong? Someone tell me You stop me from that I don't get now Why you please? I'm a dreamer When I wake you can take my spirit My soul you break it My heart is breaking I've seen you smile, I've seen you cry I've watched you sleeping for a while I'm the mother of your child Love you, why do you have to break my trust? This not real. Can someone tell me? Can someone tell me? No, don't give me those signs. No, don't give me the smile. No, don't give me those highs No, no, don't give me those highs Don't give me those highs I don't need you on my side I called you my friend, my everything, my best friend I called you my friend I called you my sister, but look at what you've done to me. 